Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. Dozens of businesses have been closed in Beijing, with many more ordered to cut production in an official effort to reduce air pollution. For nearly a week, Beijing and much of northern China has been covered in toxic smog, resulting in hospital visits for respiratory problems up by some reports by 50 percent. The Wall Street Journal reports that the port city of Tianjin and Hebei province, which surrounds Beijing, has gone further in trying to clean the air. Cars have been taken off the road and steel production and other polluting industries suspended until further notice. In what could be a promising new development in the battle against air pollution is that inspectors with supposedly more authority have been sent to monitor factories and construction sites. China's official Xinhua News Agency says that violations will be publicized in the hope that even well-connected businesses would be unable to escape prosecution. In the past year, as the public has become more vocal about health concerns, China has given enhanced powers to its environmental ministry to crack down on polluters. An orange alert was issued Friday, the second highest below red, the first since the air monitoring system was put in place last October. In such conditions, workers are ordered to stop construction and factories are supposed to reduce emissions by at least 30 percent. Outdoor barbecuing is also banned, though this is rare this time of year. Children and the elderly are advised to stay indoors and commuters are encouraged to use public transportation instead of cars. A private car ownership has exploded in recent years and is thought to contribute to about a third of emissions. Industry and construction are responsible for the majority of toxic particles in the air. Senior energy analyst at research firm NSBO Tian Miao told the journal that while Beijing city government has shuttered much of its outdated industrial capacity, most air pollution comes from nearby regions such as Hebei, which is an industrial hub for steel, cement and glass production. Coal-fired power plants are the single largest source of air pollutants, but Tian says those facilities aren't easily suspended, especially in winter. Beijing has yet to issue a red alert, which is called for when authorities forecast an air quality index above 300 for at least three consecutive days and includes measures such as alternate driving days for cars with even and odd-numbered license plates, as well as closing schools. And the current toxic smog is expected to last through at least Thursday. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network, China's first and only privately owned English language broadcast media. Our full episode can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. Let's turn now to Neil Jones for a quick look at a few stories that are buzzing through the markets.